Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekend reading for this weekend of November 8th to the 11th. Leo, this is your channel. All right, you got a flyer. Looks like we're starting without my intro. All right, your number is triple nines for the weekend with I Am Unique. Thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. All right, triple nines coming in, angel number. Some of you born on the ninth doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. Now with the second half of my intro, Leo, this is your channel. Take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. Do not force a reading to fit. And let's get started into the rest of it. So I am unique coming in for you. So if you have not already realized that you are special, that you are different, that you have a very unique sense of energy, then you may figure that out this weekend. You may also hear it from other people where people are actually telling you that they feel like you are different. Let's see what energies you are dealing with for the weekend. First card out is transformation. Okay, beautiful. The energy of transformation supports our ability to gracefully flow through times of transition, allowing the old to make new for the make room for the new. All right. Well, the fact that you have triple nines, which is the number that completes a cycle as well as transformation, the universe is really removing things from your energy, from your reality to make room for new things. You also have expression, card number 19. The frequency of expression supports our ability to bring out our true essence through many different forms of communication. All right, another nine right there too. All right, Leo, Wherever you have Leo in your chart, and depending why you're on this channel, it looks like there is a really big situation here, or I guess energy or experience, whatever you want to call it, where you are being called to speak your mind. The things you have to say are different than what everyone else is saying. The things that you believe in, the talent, the skill that you hold is different than what everyone else is doing. And it looks like your uniqueness is going to stand out to someone, to something at this time. Express yourself as best as you can. And let's get one more of these cards here. And we have abundance. Okay, card number eight. The energy of abundance activates our ability to manifest the wealth we need and the sense of fulfillment that comes from a heart and soul that are overflowing with love and gratitude. Yeah, you're going to like this transition. You're going to very much enjoy feeling seen in this way. You are standing out for you being different around this time. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, there's your card. <laughs> Hold on. The whole deck just like flew on top of me. All right, you have have confidence, card number 25, strength, balance, prepared, and tranquil. Exactly. You are being seen like this around this time, Leo. You are oozing with confidence. You are no longer as passive, maybe not as doubtful. People are seeing your confidence with this card. I mean, very synchronized to the energy you have received. You can handle a lot of things. Some of you, there is something about ballet or dancing, Possibly um, money, time, spiritual ascension. Let's get you another one of these cards here. People are seeing a new side of you. People are seeing a light inside of you here. We have evolution. Oh my gosh. Empowerment, transformations, protected and preparedness. All right. Leo. Beautiful. I feel like you're going to find yourself in positions to be heard, to speak your mind, to express yourself through words, communication, through art, through something that would be in the position of you expressing yourself. And it looks like you are in a really nice position to be seen. So if you have ever had those urges to put yourself out there, to make some videos, to get yourself online, to speak at a conference or speak in front of an audience or go be in front of a crowd, 
this is your time. I don't know. Some of you could be a musician, comedy, uh, stand-up comedian, singer, dancer, whatever the case may be. You are going to stand out from the crowd around this time. Some of you also, not only for work, but also for love as well. Your heart may be standing out at this time to a romantic partner. Let's see what Metatron has here for you for the weekend. First card out is red, safety, strength, and power. Yes, card number 55. Some of you, you may be being called to wear red this weekend. Some of you may be wearing red right now. We have Akashic Records again. Wow. Evaluation and review. And you also have the energy of orange connection and attunement. Look at that. You have red and you have orange, both complementary colors to each other, giving you the in indication of a spark of that fire. People are seeing that inside of you. People want to be in this orange flame. This is you. And the orange flame, people want to be in that flame with you. They want to feel this passion. And with Akashic Records coming in, there is some type of like past life connection to this experience, to this person, to this opportunity, to this energy where you're standing out. So when Akashic Records come in, re really evaluate what you know needs to shift, what you know is holding you back from your evolution and having confidence, now is the time to give it to the transformative energy. Now is the time to use the power of the number nine. Nine is actually our most powerful number in the universe. Most of the dividends reduce to number nine and etc. You can look up videos about that. I don't know all the details to explain here, but look up the number nine. You'll see that it is the most powerful number, according to Nikola Tesla, in the universe. So let's see what your astrology card is for the weekend, and then we'll get out your tarot theme cards and get some details on this. We have part of fortune with increase. There you go. So things are definitely, you may just feel like you're in the flow. You may just feel like you're in the vibe. Some of you, this could be a little surprising to you. You didn't know you'd have an increase in your power. You didn't know that there was going to be an increase in your abundance. You're feeling way more connected to the energy. You're feeling way more connected to yourself. And you're being called to express it as expression may be told to you. Like I said in the beginning, you might actually hear the words like, Leo, I feel like you, maybe they may not call you Leo, um, but I feel like you are special. I feel like you are different. There is just something different about you. And they're right. There is something different about you. And as a Leo, no matter where it is in your chart, if you're here on this channel, you are meant to be seen as an individual. So if you are not in a position of that, if you hang out in shadow land or in the shade and you run from the sun, the sun's always going to try to get your energy. The sun is always going to feel called to help you stand out. So you're going to, you're standing out around this time, but you know, we have free will. You could shy away from the light or you can embrace it. So let's see what we have in your tarot theme cards and get some details here of what's going on for the weekend. First card out is awaiting results with the seven of pentacles. So you may have contemplated and thought about this change and evolution for a while. Some of you, you have had signs, synchronicities, downloads that were telling you what needs to shift and what needs to be created from your energy. You see how there's like a tree-like form going through this person's body? This is something that you've contemplated for a while or could have been waited on for a while. We have observe with the hanged man. Mm -hmm. All right, this is internal energy. This is an evolution. This is a shift. This is a transformation. This is a change of perspective. And you also have the energy of the two of cups with coming together. Yes, exactly. Expression on the orange energy. 
Get yourself out there because the people that are supposed to see your uniqueness are out there. They will see it. So we do have an emphasis on a person here. Some of you may have been waiting to connect with someone more like you. Some of you may have been waiting for someone or energies to see your value, whether it's a boss, an employer, a romantic partner, a friend. Someone is really seeing how valuable you are. And I feel like this could be a type of reassurance that you've been anticipating internally because I kind of get that some of you are like yeah I've been doing the work I've been focusing on myself I've been really trying to evolve and transform and sometimes we don't know if we've actually evolved until like a external experience happens to us or we connect to someone and they say all these things and we're like oh my god or they do all of these things and you're like oh my gosh wait Feels like a different timeline, feels like a different energy. So get ready because things are going to start moving for you pretty fast. Let's clarify this here for you, Leo. Some of you may be really in the flow with another person as well. Um, could be an emphasis on a very important conversation that increases the connection, possibly even going into business. On the Seven of Pentacles, we have Justice, yeah. So I feel like for a lot of you Leos who have been doing a lot of self-work, that external progress may have not been that obvious to you, but you're going to start to see it. It looks like because it's going to be said to you or showed to you. On the hanged man, we have death. There you go. There's the change. There's the transformation. A lot of you, this is all coming from you removing something from your energy. Thank the past for the lessons and leave it where it belongs with the triple nines coming in. So there's definitely some type of release that had to happen in your own energy. And it may have taken a while. Two of cups to the temperance card. Beautiful. And in this temperance card, she is putting those two of cups together. So there has been something happening behind the scenes for you that you have not been seeing. And it looks like the alignment to this individual, the alignment to this expression where someone is like really showering you with a lot of love and a lot of appreciation. It definitely looked like it took its time to come into your energy. Your advice with this reading is the chariot. So keep on moving forward. Do not go backwards, go forward. There are many different paths ahead. And your outcome is the devil. Okay, that's fun. Why are you here? Hmm. Okay, you do have the hanged man. So I do feel like as you are going through a transformation and removal, other things may come up in the process with the devil. A lot of the times we only are like, okay, I know that these things have to be worked on. We work on one, two, and three, and then all of a sudden, four, five, and six come up, and we're like, oh, wait, I got to work on that too. So it could be that you are transitioning, you are going through a transformation, and just other things keep coming up where you're like, all right, I got to work on that. I got to work on this. I don't want to be this person any longer. I don't want to have this energy any longer. I want to be more in the position of being amazing and feeling amazing. On the Justice card, we have the Four of Wands. A lot of you, I feel like the universe is aligning you with like a divine union, an individual, a soul tribe member that really gives you this boost of movement as you are doing it within yourself. So it's like cosmos mirrors you. So if you've been really doing a lot of self-work, eventually the universe is going to bring you someone to assist with that. On the death card, we have the hermit. Yeah, you've been working on something. You've been working on some type of transformation, some type of mental shift, emotional shift. A lot of you have really been working spiritually inside. And on temperance, we have the high priestess. Yes, beautiful. Power, connection, attunement. On your advice with the chariot, we have the three of wands. Beautiful. You're ready for the future. You're not 
hanging out in the past any longer, or at least your energy is really working on letting it go. And on the devil as your outcome, we have the fool. Yes, because it looks like for a while you may have been scared of closing out cycles. A lot of the times when we remove our past, we also remove the self we were in the past. So we don't only grieve the experiences, but we grieve the old ways we were doing things. We grieve the old self. So some of you are in the process of grieving the old self because you have this beautiful new beginning in your outcome. Because you have these people that are telling you how amazing you are. Telling you how different they feel like you are from other people. So let's clarify this here once more. Some of you, there could be decisions in relationships here, like final decisions, like moving towards marriage, moving towards exclusivity, if that's a word, um, moving towards just saying yes to someone in general. Let's clarify this one more time here for you, Leo. A lot of spiritual power, and it looks like you're going to hear it from the outside. Four of Wands to the Eight of Wands. Beautiful. There's that expression. On the Hermit, we have the Ace of Wands. There you coming out of Hermit mode with your new path, your new spark. And on the High Priestess, we have the Knight of Wands. Beautiful. So I feel like for a lot of you, there's definitely a boost in confidence, possibly even a boost in energy. You know, just this person telling you like, hey, Leo, you're great. You're amazing. Some of you just haven't heard those words in a while. Um, some of you just haven't felt that way in a while. And it looks like it's coming from outside of you, but also from work you've done inside of you. So this is a nice like internal and external reading where you're not only continuing your internal process, but the universe is giving you proof that you are shifting outside of you. And they're giving you proof by some type of conversation, some type of individual, some type of soulmate connection, and some type of offer. Communication is very highlighted here. On the Three of Wands, as your advice, we have judgment. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, I like this advice. The universe is kind of like, <clears throat> don't be mad about be mad at the past. And the Akashic Records are telling you the same thing. Don't be mad at the past learn from the past. Yeah, maybe three months ago, you made a mistake. You did something you shouldn't have done. You're like, dang it, that was old Leo coming through. I'm not like that person anymore. Your advice is saying, don't be mad about it. Learn from it. Because your outcome with the devil to the fool is being clarified by the three of swords. Exactly. So there is this energy where you've always, or for a while, have let the past hold you back out of this fear, the devil and the three of swords, constantly straying away from possible beautiful new beginnings out of the fear. So let's clarify that here. Why do you have the devil, the fool and the three of swords? Because I mean, you have the hanged man and Akashic records, you have transformation and evolution. So some of you may actually see very prominently just how much your mind messes with you just how much the past experiences and not letting them go has really messed with you let's see the devil the fool to the three of swords and the outcome why is this here the nine of swords there's the mind i felt that four of pentacles and the five of pentacles okay so it looks like you are coming into a position of Okay, you know how our brain will start to say something and then we feel like we have to act on it in the physical? With this here, you're learning how to not let the mind chatter cause you to make decisions in the physical that you will regret in the future. So it's like you're learning how to like stop the mind and say, is that worth putting in the physical? Is that worth doing? Is that worth putting out there? 
and you're realizing that it's not, especially with the devil being your outcome. So a lot of you are slaying your demons around this time. You're learning their names and you're saying, I'm not going to let you F with my life in the physical. That's why you have the five of pentacles here. So let's clarify that one more time because it looks like you could have a little bit of mental back and forth with this transformative energy, the page of wands and the king of pentacles. Yeah. Realizing what action, what sparks, what questionable thoughts belong in the physical and what don't. Some of you are going to find yourself in a position where you used to always act on a certain thought. You used to always say, well, this person hasn't answered me, so I'm going to write this, that, and the other. I'm going to call them 5,000 times. And you're saying to yourself, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to put the pressure in the physical because of the mind making you do it. So this is pretty nice because it takes a, uh, the mind, oh, the mind will get you. Let's see, the Page of Wands to the King of Pentacles as your outcome with the Emperor. And this is how you align with those types of people. This is how you align with those types of increased energies. The people that will commit, the people that do stand their ground, the people that do follow through with their words, the experiences that do bring you an increase of abundance. Because there's something here that like you always used to do and you're teaching yourself not to do it, but it's going to take, it's like a process here. It's like the brain thinks of what it wants to say or do. The feelings get into the, uh, into your body and then you're stopping yourself right there on the action and your outcome. You're like, all right, the brain wants to argue the emotions want to argue but i'm not going to take the action on doing it now is it argumentative energy for all of you no it doesn't have to be it could be thinking i'm not good enough feeling i'm not good enough and expressing to the world that you don't feel good enough it's like now you're maybe you don't feel good enough and you don't feeling good enough but now you're learning not to say it to not put it out there so in whatever way, sense, or form and theme that could resonate to you, even if it's a romantic relationship, maybe you were that person that was like, I haven't heard from you. I'm going to call you five times. The brain thinks about something. The body gets the feeling. The actions like, all right, I'm going to put pressure on this situation. It's something's happening here where you're learning not to put pressure on something in the physical and not to say you're abandoning it, quote unquote, but you're abandoning the self-sabotaging thought that you came up with, that the past came up with. So you have triple nines. You have this energy of really beating the mental here. It may not be that easy, but with the fact of your page of wands, king of pentacles and the emperor outcome, it will be worth it. And you will see that in the physical. You will see that in the energy. So, damn, Leo, what is going on? That is what we have here for you for the week. It looks like there is a lot of internal and external position of you kind of like seeing how the re reality really does mirror you inside and like learning how to stop the thought and the feeling that were created from all these past cycles. You got triple nines. You have the five of pentacles in your outcome. You are getting an opportunity to physically leave the reoccur reoccurring experience of the past in the past. Because a lot of the times we always think that we have grown, we have learned, we have done this, we have done that. And then when we find ourselves in a familiar situation, all of these past ways of being come back up. So I feel like there could even be some like abandonment issues that you are facing um, where you may have always felt that need to pressure the situation and fear that it was going to leave or the person, but you're learning something different now. 
and it looks like it's going to set you up for a full-on transformative evolution, not only of yourself, but the reality that you're creating outside of you, as well as with other people. So, very interesting here. Let's see what your ending oracle is. In terms of zodiac signs in the spread that could be around you or in your chart, we have Pisces, we have Libra, we have Scorpio, we have Virgo, we have um, almost like everybody, Aries, Cancer, Sagittarius. And you have the Ace of Wands here to the Emperor. You have this expression energy, so I feel like a lot of you are going to see just how much things can work out for you without having to overthink them. So, let's see. Your ending oracle from the Starseed Oracle is Loosen Your Grip. Coping Mechanisms, Density, Addiction, and Let God In. I mean, I can't make this up. <laughs> I felt it with your outcome. I was like, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, here we go. Loosen Your Grip. We're cyclic beings, and Mother Earth teaches us to be human every day with the coming and going of the tides and the seasons. If you're clinging to anything, you're resisting the natural flow of who you are. The things we cling to are so often those we need to let go of. The food, the substances, the relationship, the jobs, the people pleasing. The things we cling to often cover up our most vulnerable space. The part we're most afraid to leave empty. The part we guard and don't let grace into. But by keeping that space covered with something that doesn't serve us or clinging to it for the fear of it not staying on its own accord, we prevent ourselves from receiving the things that will. A Course of Miracles tells us whenever whatever we leave empty, grace will fill. And the Buddha said you can only lose what you cling to. Indeed, both are true. If this card appears, you're being called to find the courage to loosen your grip and to give up control. To release your coping mechanisms and leave space for grace and God to enter. To surrender all that feels dense to the, to the divine. Loosening your grip doesn't mean that what you're clinging to will go away. It may or it might stay. But you can be sure that what is for you will find you and you'll breathe easier knowing that you've shifted from relying on your own strength to surrendering to the grace of life. Yep. Yeah. That makes so much sense with your outcome. Like the devil, the fool, the three of swords, the nine of swords. This is like the back and forth. Like I want to loosen my grip, but I, I, but I'll get hurt if I do. I must pressure this situation, but the fool, I want to loosen my grip, but the devil, the three of swords and the nine of swords, uh, uh, it doesn't want to because of this fear. There it is. Four of pentacles, five of pentacles. A card that is not loosening its grip at all. It's actually standing and holding a pentacle on its head. It's not even moving to the five of pentacles saying, well, if it's for me, it will be for me. I don't have to cling to it. And page of wands, the spark, king of pentacles, it being stable for you and the emperor allowing it to grow on its own and allowing the natural course of life to happen. So I feel like a lot of you are learning that and it looks like you may be very surprised in how that happens for you because, you know, for majority of your life or for majority amount of time in some way, shape or form, and it doesn't have to be all of your life. It could be a certain theme of your life. Some of you may be an energy that clings to love, clings to money, clings to family, clings to friend, whatever the case may be, you're learning how to not do that and allowing the energy to free willingly choose you, you in general. And I feel like that's exactly what's going to happen because of the way you're, the beginning of this reading was someone seeing that you're different. So. Very interesting read here for you, Leo, for the weekend. Thank you for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, amazing weekend ahead. Do not forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you get an alert when a new reading is out. And do not forget to like this video so we align with more beautiful Leos just like you. And I'll talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.